I'm going to make this super quick, giving all praises to Yehovah, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, Rakaq, with that Shalom, to the 144,000 of the rest of the elect out there, Shalom, to you, to, to you all, excuse me. I'm going to entitle this video, One More Step Closer to Armageddon. Armageddon is found in uh, Revelation chapter 16. You may also know it under the name of what they say is World War Three. Destruction is coming. Destruction is coming. Destruction is coming to the system, to the beast system, which consists of uh, the, all the NATO nations, which are European nations, and uh, the U U.S. and uh, Canada are also a part of the NATO alliance and the EU nations, which are um. European unions, there's got to be like 30 of them now. It was supposed to be 10, it was based on uh, 10. So, this is breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. So, I put in North Korea sends 12,000 troops to Russia for Ukraine war. Uh, South C CNN, South Korean intelligence says North is sending 12,000 troops to aid Russia war in Ukraine reports say ABC News South Korean intelligence says North has sent troops to aid Russia Russians war in Ukraine now Ukraine's military, I mean, you, you're down to just grabbing people off the street that may be a teenager or an older person. There's videos on it. They go up, they'll see a person stand, waiting for a bus. It might be, it may be a man, and they'll throw him in the van, give him a gun, and go out and fight against the Russians. I believe they even got women fighting now because it's there um there's a shortage of men. And see the plan with Russia, they'll take it over completely, kill most of the able or all of the able bodied men, they'll take the women. As Conant said, uh, see the enemy driven before you and hear the lamentation of their women. Because you spared women, that's booty. So these Russians will lay with these women, whether they like it or not, and they will produce babies, half Ukrainian and half Russian, actually all Russian, because you are what your, your father is. The seed comes from the father. You are what your father is. That has nothing to do with your mother. But the Russians, Ukraine is originally part of the Russian, the USSR. What is it? United Socialists. Um, Soviet Socialist Republic, if I'm not mistaken. USSR. Now it's Russia. CBS News. North Korea said to be sending thousands, to be exact, 12,000 of troops, thousands of troops to help Russia in Ukraine war so Russian Russians are looking to pack it up they looking to take this thing over they looking for uh, <clears throat> the president of Ukraine Zelensky to sit down and have talks as to his surrender because that's how it happens meanwhile you got a Israel, the Israeli government, the military, they're not even mentioning um, the Hamas anymore. Went from the Hamas to the uh, Hezbollah to Iran, to an actual country. So that's a full-scale war. So you got Russia active. So the, the Russian military, they're battle-ready, battle-tested. That's why it says the men of Babylon, and not too many words, 
shall be like unto women. But it's going to say the same thing. Al, Al, Al Jazeera, South Korea, which is backed by the U.S., North, which is backed by Russia. It's a communist setup. South Korea's spy agency says North Korea is sending troops to Russia. BBC. British Broadcasting Channel. I believe the C represents channel. North Korea to deploy 12,000 troops to fight with Russia alongside of Russia so this is this is um you know this is breaking news all over the world this is this is what you call geopolitics so let me go to let me pull up uh, where we at Bible search second and let me do this Okay, uh, I believe it's either Jer Jeremiah 50 or 51. I know it's in uh, Nahum 3. Let's try Jeremiah 50. What the hell just happened? Jeremiah 50, verse 37, a sword is upon their horses and upon their chariots and upon all the mingled people that are in the midst of her and they shall become as women. A sword is upon her treasures and they shall be robbed. Babylon is going to be robbed. Let me go to Nahum. Nahum 3 verse 13, Behold, thy people in the midst of thee are women. The gates of thy land, this is talking about Babylon, shall be set wide open as your defense system unto thine enemies. Number one enemy is the former USSR. The fire shall devour thy bars. Your bars represent your, um, your missile system. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say shalom until next shalom.